All right, I'm now recording and now. All right. So let's go over the workout here. Um, so a couple of different um, sections to um, keep in mind here. So the window of work is going to change. It's going to get one minute longer each time. So that first section is going to be three minutes then four minutes and five minutes and six minutes. We're going to have one minute of rest in between each section. So we're going to start with a 400 meter run, get in. Uh, obviously if it's a row, I was thinking, you know, 500 meter row would be good. Um, then you're going to go ahead, push ups for the remaining time. You know, you should probably have maybe a minute, maybe a little longer. Uh, to crank out as many push-ups. You're going to rest one minute. So at minute four, we're going to start a four-minute window. So it's going to be either your run or your row again. This time we're coming in, we're am wrapping our air squats. Um, then we're going to do a five-minute window. Um, and then we're going to am wrap burpees. And then in a six-minute window, you're going to come in and it is going to be eight push-ups and 16 air squats, okay? So um, I'll uh, come back to this. Um, so that you guys can see it during the workout if you need to. And then I'll also have a, we'll have a timer going too. So um, those are the movements. Um, and we'll warm the, all those up here as just kind of our, our general warm up. But does anybody have any questions about that? Nope. Cool, all right. So let's do this just to, uh, just to get it warmed up and just so we can kind of cycle through all the uh, movements. Again, we'll kind of warm up as we're going through this because it's a lot of body weight stuff. But let's, uh, all right, so let's everybody, let's do, uh, let's start with some air squats. So let's get uh, 20 air squats. Um, let's do the first 10 can just be kind of fast air squats. And then the second 10, take your time, nice and easy. Just nice and slow air squats, just get warmed up. So 10 quick, and then 10 nice and easy. And again, as you're doing those slow air squats, if there's anything that's tight, if you feel, you know, uh, your ankles, your calves, your groin, anything is a little tight, you know, feel free to roll it back and forth a little bit. All right, once you're done with that, give me 10 Cossack squats. So five each side. So again, for those, um, what you're going to do, so you're going to step to the side and then come down, get a good stretch on that groin, and then come back to the other side. Again, if you roll onto your heel, you'll get a little hamstring stretch there as well. So 10 Cossack squats, five each side. And then as we're finishing those up, the um, what we're going to do here is we're going to get those hamstrings stretched out just a little bit. So you're just going to step uh, in front with one leg, just step down, reach down. You can almost do like a little, like take your hands, kind of scoop them past your heel, take a step, stretch that hamstring, loosen it up a little bit. All right, do 10 of those, five each side. All right, once you're done with those, and I know you guys are still working a little bit on those, so what you're gonna do then, so we do have some, some weightlifting stuff at the end too that we're gonna do, so we're gonna make, wanna make sure that um, our push-ups are warmed up. So go ahead and we're gonna do, um, let's do 10 push-ups. So five, five regular speed, all right? So keep those elbows tucked in, and then five, the second five, I want you to go nice and slow. So slow down, slow up, try to drive through those palms, Put your shoes on my mat. Okay, sorry. God. So again, we're gonna have push-ups in that first, that three-minute window, and then we're gonna have push-ups in that last, that six-minute window when you're am wrapping uh, eight push-ups, sixteen air squats. All right. Um, and then the last thing we're gonna do, so we're gonna do um, 
two sets of mountain climbers. So we're going to do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going to do it twice. So with those mountain climbers, again, I want to hold that plank position, and then I'm going to bring those knees to the chest. Try to stay tight in that core, okay? So I'm going to hold on one second here. Uh, da, 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 share screen. Okay, ready in 20 seconds of mountain climbers, go. Ten more seconds, and then we're gonna have a 10 second rest. And rest, so rest for 10 seconds, we're gonna do that one more time. All right, ready? And last 20 seconds of mountain climbers here. Keep going guys, 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, so, um, Again, so the workout, guys. So uh, pull that back up. So again, so that first three minutes, so you're gonna row that 500 or run that 400, and then it's gonna be push up. So I will talk you guys through it um, as we get ready for each section, just to remind you guys what we're doing. Um, but again, so it's gonna be getting in from that 400, look, or that row. You're not gonna have too long, so just get right on those push-ups, all right? Don't, you'll catch your breath during that minute rest. So get off the rower or get in from the run, drop down and start doing push-ups, start cranking those out, all right? Try to hit some sets, because you're not gonna have a ton of time. Anybody have any questions before we get started? Cool, all right, everybody uh, to your equipment here and we'll, we'll, get, we'll get started. Uh-oh, hold on. All right, can you guys, you guys can still see the, oh wait, hold on. No, you can share the whole thing. I don't know how yet, hold on. Share yep. screen. And then just say desktop. Desktop. Then okay. they can see whatever you see. Okay, perfect, all right. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start this as soon as I hit this. So remember, it's a three minute AMRAP. Here we go, I'm gonna count you down in three, two, one, go. Halfway there, guys. 90 seconds left in this AMRAP. 90 seconds left. All right, we got one minute left, guys. One minute. As soon as you're done, get started on those push-ups.
Don't waste any time. Get right on them. Let's go. Try to hit some big sets. You guys have one minute rest coming up after this. Try to hit some big sets. Quick rest and right back on it. 40 seconds left. Thirty seconds. Twenty. Let's go, guys. Quick rest right back on. You got a one minute rest coming up. Ten seconds. Keep going. Five, four, three, two. One and rest. So we have one minute of rest and then we're right back into our run or right back into our row. This time we have four minutes. So we're gonna go from minute four to minute eight on my stopwatch here on the screen. And we're gonna be doing air squats this time. All right, with those air squats, remember just drive off those heels, keep that chest up. Alex is breathing heavy. Oh, yeah. 30 seconds left in your rest. Try to get your, try to get your breath down and control. 15 seconds. 10. So remember, four minutes this time. Go into eight minutes. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one and go. One minute in, three minutes left. Three minutes left. Two minutes left now, guys. We got two minutes left. Once you get on those air squats, just try to hit those big sets. Just keep moving, drive off those heels. Make sure we get full extension every time. Get those hips through every time. Don't cheat yourself. You got a minute 45, still plenty of time. Nice steady pace, don't burn out. Good job, guys. 90 seconds left. 90 seconds left. All right, we've got. One minute left, one minute left in this portion. Keep pushing off, driving off those heels. Chest up, 
Full extension every time. Good job, 50 seconds. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty. Good job, guys. Keep pushing. Let's go. Keep pushing here. Come on. You almost got it. You're almost there. 10 seconds, go 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, again, try to catch your breath. Deep breaths, get that breathing under control. So this next section, we've got a 400 meter run or that, or that row, and then we're going with burpees in the remaining time. It's a five minute window. So you're gonna have plenty of time for those burpees here, okay? So with those burpees, make sure the big thing is gonna be getting that breath under control and making sure um, that you're moving at a pace that works for you. That work When you first get done with that run or the row, um, you might be breathing really heavy. Maybe you're gonna burpee a little slower. So spend that first you know, 30 to 45 seconds kind of nice and easy, catch your breath on those burpees, and then start picking up the pace. 15 seconds here. 10 seconds, so we have five minutes now, so we're gonna go to 14 minutes on the clock. In three, two, one, and go. So guys, we're one minute in, four minutes left. Remember, we're getting to it after on the burpees. Go. Three minutes left, guys. Three minutes left. So again, use these first couple seconds to catch your breath on the burpees. All right, don't, don't stop. Just keep moving. Never stop on these. If you're getting a little winded, just go a little slower. Change your pace. So you got two and a half minutes. Good job, guys. Coming up on two minutes left, so still plenty of time for those burpees. Two minutes left now. Again, if you're getting tired, just slow your pace down. Try not to stop and rest.
Let's go. 90 seconds, guys. 90 seconds. Coming up on one minute left, guys. One minute left now. We got one minute of burpees. We're going to 14 minutes here. Going to 14 minutes. One minute of burpees left. Let's go. 45 seconds. Come on. Don't stop on the burpees. Come on. Don't stop. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Good job, guys. Good job. Stay after it. Come on, stay after it. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ten. In five, four, three, two. One and rest. All right, good job, guys. We got one minute rest. Try to get that breath under control. Again, we are going to go at 15. We're going to 21 minutes. So this time, we're going to combine the first two. So you're going to come in. You're going to do eight push-ups, 16 air squats. You're going to AMRAP that. So eight push-ups, 16 air squats, eight push-ups, 16 air squats. You'll keep doing that until 21 minutes left on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Well, good. All right, 20 seconds left, guys. 20 seconds left. So this is going to be your last run or your last row. Coming up in five, four, three, two. One and go. Last run, last row. Let's go. Get after it. Here we go. Good job, guys. So remember, we're going eight push-ups, 16 air squats. So we're going to AMRAP that through. So once you're done with the run, done with the row, eight push-ups, 16 air squats. Make sure you're doing good reps every time. Get that chest to the ground on the push-ups. Keep that chest up off the heels on those air squats. We got four minutes left, four minutes left. All right, good job, Kayla. Let's go, get right on it, let's go. Good job, Ian, right on it, bud, come on. Here you go, Dennis. Good job, Alex. Good job, Gabe, here we go. Eight push-ups, 16 air squats, Gabe. Eight push-ups, 16 air squats. Just keep AMRAPing through that, here we go. Just keep cycling through. 
Good reps. Got plenty of time left. So we still have three minutes left in this workout, guys. Three minutes. So continue good reps, keep moving. If you have to break up those push-ups, try to do four and four. All right, quick rest in between if you need to break it. So two and a half minutes left, guys. Two and a half minutes left. We're almost done. This is a heck of a workout for an at-home workout. This is a this is an in-gym quality workout right here. Never doing another push-up on feet there, I did. Yeah. We started this at-home program, and I was like, no way am I gonna be as sore doing this <laughs> in the gym. But I think I've been more sore. Yeah, your push-ups, these push-ups are going to get you. Two minutes left, guys. Two minutes left. Here we go, 90 seconds, 90 seconds. One minute left, guys. One minute left, and then we're done. Let's go. Stay strong. Keep that pace up. All right? Try not to take any breaks. Just slow, slow the pace if you have to. Try not to break. Got one minute left. Now we got 50 seconds left. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Let's go, guys. Finish strong. Let's go all the way to the end. All the way through the end here. Fifteen seconds. Don't stop till we hit twenty-one. We got ten seconds left. I'll count you down here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One and time. So good job, guys. That's awesome. So uh, obviously catch your breath. I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes here. Do what you got to do. Grab some water. Relax. Catch that breath. Um, I'm just going to talk through what that next section is going to be. All right. So we have a little mini uh, weightlifting section. So it's going to be still a few more push-ups here. So we're not, we're not out of the blue here. Yay when it comes to the push up. So what we're doing is it's five sets, all right? It's gonna be eight hover push ups. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down, you're gonna go right before you actually hit the ground, you're gonna pause for three seconds, then you can tap and you're gonna explode up, okay? So again, this isn't for time, so if you have to take some breaks in between, that's fine. And then you're gonna do 10 tricep dips. So whether that's off a chair, a table, um, a stool, whatever that's gonna be. So uh, we'll go over this here in a second, but on those tricep dips, again, we're going to want to keep those elbows in and get that full extension. I don't want to chicken wing my elbows out. I want to keep them in uh, with whatever I'm using. So um, what I'll do here is I'll demonstrate that hover push-up. Okay. So with that hover, let me make sure that you can see me. Okay. So with these hover push-ups, so what you're going to do, you're going to start here. You're going to come down. Right before you hit the ground, one, two, 
three, explode up. One, two, three, tap and go, okay? So one, two, three, and explode up. Same thing, I wanna make sure that I'm keeping those elbows in tight to the body on those push-ups, all right? So you're gonna do that eight times, and then you're gonna come over and you will do, I'll just do it here. So then you're just gonna do your tricep dips, okay? So off the table or off a chair, just make sure that we keep those elbows in tight, all right, with whatever we're using um, for that portion, okay? So, does anybody have any questions about either of those two movements? Is no, it for time or it's? No, it's not for time, it's just for quality. So just take your time, good reps. You're going through five sets if you can. So eight and 10, five times. So that's a lot, it's another 40 push-ups, another 50 dips. All right, so whenever you guys are ready, um, you can go ahead and get to that spot. If you're not gonna do it, that's if you're, if you're cashed out after the AMRAP, that's fine too. Uh, but if you are gonna do this here, so it's eight push-ups, eight hover push-ups, 10 tricep dips five, five times through. Shane, I am gonna do them, but I'm gonna go downstairs and do them. So thank you for leading the class. Yeah, man, good luck with the rest of it. All right, see you guys. All right, so whenever you guys are ready, let's go ahead and we can get started with it, all right? So let's, let's see those first set, that first set of hover push-ups. So go down right before you hit the ground, gotta hold your body right above the ground for count one, two, three, and then tap and explode up. We wanna be explosive on the way up still. All right, so tap and then explode up still. So that's what we're going for. All right, eight of these. And then we're gonna hit those tricep dips. So again, keep those elbows in tight. Keep that core tight. Well, I don't want my quads touching the ground. All right, so think it's almost like you're keeping that plank. So tight, tight abs, tight glutes, tight quads. And then be explosive on the way up. Okay, if we have, and if, and if eight is too many or five rounds is too many, feel free to scale um, to what we need to do. And then hit those tricep dips. So a lot of dips during quarantine. The good quarantine movie. How many? Uh, 10, 10 dips. So one thing we'll want to make sure is when you guys are done with this, um, we'll want to make sure that we get a good stretch of the chest because um, you might be tight uh, tomorrow morning when you get up from all the push-ups. So make sure that when we're done, I'll, I'll give you guys a couple stretches that you can do, but uh, make sure that you guys take the time to do that today. Otherwise, you'll pay for it tomorrow. Doing good, guys. Doing good. Looking to try to get five sets today. Andrea said she wanted to do the lifting after the Metcon day. Keep you guys on your toes. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
Andrea said that. That's what she said. I texted Andrea and she said she wanted to switch it up, do this at the end when you guys are tired. So good job. Make sure that um, we want to keep, we don't want to worm our way up. So just try to stay tight on the way up, even as you get tired. So again, if you have to take a quick breather, you know, do, do a couple quick, quick rest, shake it out right back on it. That's fine. These are all every, every movement here. This is all for quality. No rush. Good job, guys. Looking good. So just think, you did all those push-ups the first three-minute AMRAP. Then you were doing eight push-ups a time in the last AMRAP, and you guys got a bunch of rounds there. Then you're doing 40 push-ups here. It's quite the accomplishment for a quarantine workout. I think these push-ups should count for more than one, though, since we're doing the three seconds. Since, right? you're, since you're holding? Yeah. You can count them for as many as you want, Ian. What, round three? Yeah, that might be it. Yeah. Arms are like jelly. Okay. And my push-up I did one. Yeah, like Alex is saying, she's getting a little tired on the push-ups and she's starting to warm up a little bit, so she's going to call it quits after this third round, which is fine. Again, if, you're, if you feel like you're not doing good reps anymore, then there's really no point in doing them. So, uh, Dennis, I saw you were doing the knee push-ups, which is good. So, um, you know, again, keep challenging yourself if you can. Around and we'll do a stretch real quick. So I'll kind of, as you guys are continuing to work, that's fine. I will, um, I'll talk you through a couple of the stretches and then I, I can show you guys as you're resting, but. So feel free to keep working here, guys. Um, so I'll just go over a couple of things that you guys can do here when we're done. So if you do have a, uh, a PVC or a broomstick, I've got a golf club here, right? So just to get that good, you know, those pass-throughs that we normally do at the gym, right, before a workout or after a workout, those are going to be really good for you after this to really open up that chest and open up those shoulders, okay? So, you know, feel free to spend some time after the workout, again, grab a broomstick or something and maybe do some pass-throughs nice and slow. And right when you get to the back, that's when you're going to get that really good stretch. You're going to get that chest opened up. Okay, so that'll be something that you guys um, will be able to do today. Um, something else, so if you can find a surface, um, even like a wall really, where you can go ahead and you can either – get that hand on the wall and drive away from it, right? So where you can get that chest opened up or you can put that hand flat on the wall and try to turn away from that. That's really gonna get a good, uh, open up that chest. So really spend some time there. And again, um, if you have a lacrosse ball and you wanna lie, you know, after this is all said and done and you wanna um, lie chest down on the lacrosse ball where, you're, where you might be tight there in the, uh, kind of that armpit area, that pec area, that's another good thing that you can do. So a um, couple of things there, you know, just to, to get that stretched out as you guys are, are finishing up. No. 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 Chill. No. You're, this right. Is You're not, on camera. This is not your house. 
You're on camera. No! Hi, Alex. Hi, he's swinging a golf club in my house. That's what guys do. No! Exactly. We're, golf season's gonna be here before you know. Hey, where were you golfing the other day? We, we snuck onto a course. We just took our wedges and our putters. Oh, yeah. By, by, by sneak on, I mean there was 75 people wandering around on the golf course that day. So The golf courses seem to have become like the new public parks. Oh, all right. That was good. Yep, so make sure you spend some time stretching out. Mobs mobility class at 6.30 will be good for you guys. Yeah, there you go. Was it Mugs and mobility? Yeah. With body? Yep. Give me that. Stretch. No, I'm going to break it over my leg. Cool. So is everybody, did everybody finish up? I see Gabe looks like you're done. That is when you're done. Ian, you're, are you still going or you're done? Are oh, you doing some ring dips? Cool. So um, we'll call it quits here for the day again. Yeah. Good, good point there, Dennis. We got the mobility, Bob's mobility stuff happening at 630. If you guys want to hop in for that. Again, just spend a couple minutes. Make sure that you don't uh, shortchange yourself here with some stretching. Otherwise, you guys will be sore tomorrow from all the push-ups. So um, good job. Way to work through. Again, that's a, that's a pretty tough workout. Yeah, that's, that's one you can see in the gym uh, as well. So anybody have anything uh, to share here before we get going? No, a uh, great workout. Yeah. I'm going to be yelling at Andrea, though. Wait <laughs> afterward. Yeah, good job, guys. All right, we're going to close it down. Uh, mobility 630. Good, good work, everybody. All right, take care. Yeah, See, you. Thanks. See you guys.